Welcome to AW Dynamite here on Twitch. I am the voice of Water Entertainment Enterprise, Tommy Black, and what a night of action we have for you here tonight. We are on the road to Fighter Fest, and the action just doesn't stop for AEW, I can tell you that. From North Charleston, South Carolina. Weren't we here last week? Starting the night off with some awesome tag team action coming out of the Young Bucks and the Hybrid 2. The Young Bucks picking up a win last week over, I believe, was the Butcher and the Blade. Was over the Butcher and the Blade. Hmm? And of course, the Hybrid 2 kind of been doing a little bit of singles action lately. Jack Evans recently became, is a now a former AEW TNT champion. Angelico, well, not faring too well out of the two. The, the Young Bucks are looking to make their name, looking for people to know their name and possibly tag team. This match is going to be good. What profit? I can't wait. Both these teams are athletic. Of course, the Young Bucks doing time and Ring of Honor. Japan Impact, and of course, the high doing time in Lucha Underground, mainly in Mexico, Triple A. Both of them won titles in their respective areas. Both are looking to become possibly the number one contenders, the next number one contenders for the AEW Tag Team Champion. And of course, we will see. Proud and powerful against Jurassic Express at Fighter Fest. Let's go to the ring. And here come the Young Bucks. The boss Hoss doesn't like Young Bucks because of flippy shit. You're all about flipping shit. And of course, the, the action is just going to get hotter and hotter from here. Later on in the night, we're going to see the AEW Women's Champion in action against a former opponent that is Nyla Rose, the Native Beast, in an Extreme Rules match. That you don't want to miss. Jurassic action against the Dark Order. And of course, a main event that has been buzzing all over social media. The final battle between MJF and Dustin Rhodes in a 30-minute Iron Man match. That match you don't want to miss here tonight on Dynamite. Angelico in the ring, getting the crowd on their feet. Both of high, I mean, that is why they're called the hybrid too. Both call, both hybrid athletes. O-E-E, Hoss -E -E. is a poopy E-E. -E. Oh, up everybody, Axeman, Wolfgang, Dark Prophet, they're all here tonight. And here comes the former TNT champion. Or AEW TNT champion. Winning it. And a huge upset over the bastard Pack. Of course, Pack will be defending his title at Fighter Fest.
Jack Evans is always looking to bring the fight here. Of course, Axe Man recently sub resubscribed to Order Entertainment Enterprise here recently. That's right. And anyway, Matt Jackson starting off against Angelico. Here we go. Starting off with the calling elbows high up there. Oof. Okay. Oh, there he goes again with another headlock. Matt Jackson packing him off. This is starting out to be a banger. Here he goes. Nice super kick. Getting a little prelude to the super kick party. Matt Jackson packing up. After a huge kick. Beautiful power bomb as he goes for the cover on Angelico. And an instant kick out by the walking highlight. to the midsection. Angelico stepping up. Great running bulldog right to Matt Jackson. Now he's dragging him. Here's the tag. Here comes Jack. Oh, Jackie boy. Boys, both these men absolutely fantastic high flyers. Drag him off and away. Here he goes with a beautiful moonsault. Great to Jack Evans. Oh, he made a spy a whole country mile. Nick Jackson up on top. Oh! Oh, and he... Oh, yeah, it's Austin 3 six. Oh, I know who he is. Yeah, he's a good dude. Jack Evans sending Nick right off into the corner. What's this? Got him up in the tree of woe. Oh, Jack Evans up on top. Nick's in trouble. Oh, my God. With a stomp on the chest. Beautiful drop kick coming out of Nick. Right off into the corner goes Jack Evans. Step it up. Oh! Good night, Jackie boy. He is an excellent dude. Oh, what the drop kick to the face. Nick Jackson on the warpath. He's going for the cover on Evans. Trying to defeat him, but there's a kick out instantaneously. Both of them very resilient athletes. Jack Evans with the elbow right between the eyes. Not big, what the hell? Oh! Trying to hoist him up. There's a German with a lot of strike behind it. There's the kick out by Jackie Boy. Reversal of the Irish win. Up and around the world. Beautiful work there by Jack Evans. There's a stomp. One right after that left arm. Warren knows what that's going to do to anything. Well, have a good one for a bit. Have a good one, man. Thank you for tuning in. Well, now he's just showing off. Oh! We're gonna step up. Angelico. Oh, was definitely all up in the way. Evans going for the cover. There's a kick out by Nick. That's not even a one count. That was like zero and a half. Angelico. Oh, meaty clothesline coming out of the former Lucha Underground tag team champ. All the way around. Beautiful work there by Nick. Got him squared off. There's the only one for the right hand. Ooh! 
Got him up, Fireman's carry. Nick Jackson with a DDT. And now he's looking to fuck. Lord knows what Nick Jackson has in mind here tonight. Oh, we got caught. Storm coming out of Angelica. I thought he... What the hell? Pulling right back in the leg. What does he do? Oh, no. This is going to be painful to watch. He just yanked back on the left arm and Nick Jackson. Listen to this, South Carolina crowd. Ooh, putting this kick to the face. Great work there, Jackson sends him off in the... Ooh! And Nick desperately needs to make attack here. Angelica with a meeting close line. Oh, come on! I mean, I gotta give the hybrid two some credit, doing a great job cutting off the ring here in this matchup. The corner. Trying to make the tag. Oh, and there's a kick to the back of the dome. Nick Jackson for the cover. Wait a minute. Go for the cover, you fucking idiot. Now, why didn't he go for the cover? Wait a minute. Angelica being placed up on top of that turnbuckle. Nick. There's a pop up. Beautiful Franken stunner from the top. Nick Jackson going for the cover on the lanky Angelico. Two in the kick out. Terrific tag team match at kickoff AEW Dynamite. And it only gets better from here. Here we go. Oh! Nice kick. Getting right out of the corner, preventing the tag. Getting right out of the way of that. Missing wildly with Lord knows what the hell that was. Take a nap. Beautiful tilt-a-whirl kick. Looking to make the tag. Here comes Matt Jackson. Going there. Super kick party. Super kicks. That'll knock any normal human being out. And there's a kick out by Angelica. Solid work coming out of both teams, really giving the fight to one another. Here's the one. As I look forward to Thursday nights every day, every single week. Making the technical work here to Angelica. By Angelica. Oh, with a sidewalk slam. Oh, wait a minute. Angelica pulling Matt Jackson away from the ropes. Oh, and twos the crowd just yanks back on the left arm. Of Matt Jackson, now Angelica lining him up, trying to put away the young bucks. No dice! No. Did he make the tag? No, and there goes Jackson to the floor. He's out of the equation. Angelico left all alone. This has become a handicap match. Ooh. Jackson looking to fly. I don't think Matt's going to make it. I told you he wasn't going to make it. Why did you try? Turn this around. Beautiful backbreaker coming out of Matt. What action here. Down the ropes. Oh my God. Jackson going for the cover after a, a huge super kick out of nowhere. It, wait a minute. Oh, and the Young Bucks get the win. After Jack Evans came just one second. 
too late. the second match. Ah, uh, yes, we are definitely live. Come join if you have nothing to do at the moment. Of course, a phenomenal match. Great win by the Young Bucks here. Dynamite off to a dynamite start. Coming up next here, ladies and gents, we are going to hear from Jake Hager, who definitely has some unfinished business with the current TNT champion, the Bastard Pat. He's got a few words to say a week before Fighter Fest here. Anyway, the undefeated. MMA fighter, and this man also somehow in some way managed to upset Brian Cage in in his debut at the last pay per view, double or nothing. Brian Cage is definitely on the warpath. He has been trying to get his hands on Jake Hager. Management apparently just doesn't want bloodshed on their hands. I mean, Jake Hager managing to tap out the machine? If you can... I can't even believe it. I don't even think management could believe what happened at Double or Nothing. <laughs> I have one question, though. Does Jake Hager still have the lisp? Let's go to the ring and find out. Oh, he's already in the ring. This is what I like about our stars. They're always prompt. They're already in the ring. He asks, never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. A good, a good song, good song. What's good, little man Mike and Ike? Everybody, wow. All of you, thank you for tuning in. All of you are absolutely terrific. Jeez, he just called Pac a B-plus player. What, did he steal his promo from Daniel Bryan? He's making too many demands around here. We're not going to wait till next week or the next big event. Oh, God, he's making a huge mistake here, gentlemen. <laughs> he shouldn't be raising an eyebrow, though. Well, there's Pac. Now, where the hell is the title? It's so pretty. Has it been defaced? Picture is being painted here tonight at on AEW, painting a beautiful picture of what Fight Fest is gonna look like. I'm excited for Fight Fest. Hey, Double or Nothing was awesome. 
I'm pretty sure that Fighter Fest is going to be living up to the hype that our GM has been posting the videos, the promos. They've been absolutely amazing. So give some love to our GM for AEW. Yes, I did. What is up, Jay? How are you? And of course, what up, boss, dude? Jay Rain tuning in, buddy. That is great to see. Give yourselves a round of applause for a change. And of course, Pat saying just the sight of Jake Hager makes him see red. I'm pretty sure he sees a lot of red, given the fact he carries around that TNT title. Now, I've heard rumors. Not 100% sure this is happening, but the TNT title is possibly being updated. If that's the case, what a boss, dude. He said, Hoo Is he calling a pig? As someone who can't get TV time, this is one of the hottest feuds in AEW. <laughs> idea how long until they're blue in the face. Man, now we're... Oh, yes, of course. This week, we have not two VIPs for Order Entertainment Enterprise and the Dark Prophet. So, congratulate week. You. That means you don't have to deal with all those pesky little lads that we so love to do with. Keep tuning in, you might be here. When we step in that ring, I'm gonna take advantage of this, that. Yes, there's no weakness from Pat. I can't wait to see this battle at Fighter Fest. Versus Jake Hager for the TNT Championship. This is going to be awesome. But coming up next. Coming up next, we got B. Priestley. One of those names I can't pronounce sometimes. And Hikaru Shida. B. Priestley defeating the champ last week to earn herself a shot at the AEW Women's World Champ. Now she has the obstacle course of going over a former stardom competitor, Akaru Shida. I mean, if Akaru Shida manages to beat Priestley, does it become a triple threat? I don't know. That's for management to decide. This is going to be good. I can't wait for it. Mm -hmm. Of course, Akaru Shida, a terrific flying athlete, but don't knock Priestley out. Priestley could fly if needed to. She's kind of like, kind of like Kane. Kane's a big dude, but loves to fly. <laughs> Let's go to the ring for this match, this women's action.
Ah, yes, there is a pull up in B. Priestley win her match here tonight. Go ahead, vote or no. Well. Mm -hmm. Pulling off a, oh, there she is. I thought she was gonna pull a John C. B. Priestley could possibly walk out of Fighter Fest, the new AE women's some Kong upsetting Nyla Rose at Dublin to earn the AEW Women's Championship. Yeah, go ahead and vote on the blow. Will Priestley tonight, yes or no? And here comes a contesting athlete. Ah, oh, yes, congrats to them both. Of course, I love seeing these two go one on one. They are like a, they are like a match made in heaven when both of them step in the ring. And of course, same with. Sh Of course, both these women successful stardom competitors. Both of them win the stardom title. We go Priestley and Sheeta. This is going to be good. He tried trying to get the upper hand. I didn't know Sheeta was like that. Priestley sending it right off the ropes. There's Lily Drew. Great. Here she goes. There's the knee by Sheeta. Look at a step up. Oh, by Akara Sheeta. Holy cow. Gets right out of the way of that. Priestley coming up huge. Bulldog coming out of her. Sending her off the ropes once again. Look at a hoist her up. Nice reversal there by Akaro Shida grabbing hold of that left arm. These two know each other so well. Look at a hoist her up maybe. Oh, trying to turn this around. Going for the pin. Great work there by Priestley trying to get the quick win. Great kick out by Priestley. Oh, what a right hand. Terrific kick. Oh, she's just stomping an unholy mud hole right in him. I'll be there. Oh, my God. That sounded brutal. Cheetah. Hanging on Priestley to get up on her ass. Look at the fly. Gets right out of the way. What's this? Oh, going for the pit. Priestley going for the pit. One, two, and the kick out by Akaro Shida. Oof. Oh, what a kick. Trying right there. Oh, my God. Going for the kick, nice reversal there by Sheeta. Going for the reversal, great job there by Priestley. Oh! Nice use of the ropes. Well, that's gotta be it. Nice strike right to the back, Priestley on the warpath already. Into the corner she goes, hoisting up a car Sheeta to the top. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. What? Priestley to the top. Look at a fly missing there. That's definitely got to be harder than the knees. Take a nap. What a super kick for the cover. She did a pick on the win early and an instant kick out at one and a half.
Trying to get technical here. Now, Carl Sheeta fighting out of it. Beautiful forearm coming out of the four. Champ, what a kick. Taking it right off her feet. Karu. Why is she yesing? She's not Daniel Bryan. It's there. Stop it. on. Good night, Sheeta. O'Brien. The Priestley. Get hit. Trying to step up with an insecurity. There's a kick by. Sheeta with a dragon suplex for the cover. One. And the kick out by the number one contender. Such a terrific muscle. The wrestle of the Irish with there goes Priestley off the ropes. Nice leap block right into it. What an arm drag. Gita. Showing off her technical side here. Proving why she should be in that spot instead of be Priestley. Oh, and she's bending back to Phalanges. Priestley had a way to get back into this match, but it's technical side. Kinda has a bit of pizzazz than what Priestley has in her arsenal. But of course, Priestley is such a hybrid athlete. You never know what's gonna come out of her, and there's a B Priestley. Oh, she's lining it up. Oh, driving her right back into the canvas. That was brutal. Oh, she's setting it up. Setting it up here. Oh, and Shades are black with that spinning heel kick. Going right to work on the leg. Why is she going after the leg of Priestley? Is it a unknowable? He's going for the suplex. Priestley stopped it. Trying to create an opening here in the match. Priestley, what a suplex by the Gothic Sweetheart. Up in the corner once again. I'm setting it up. Going off the roof once again. There's another kick. And there's one more for good measure. B, B Priestley is definitely definitely found an opening here and back to the back of the door Carl Sheeta doesn't know where the hell she is here tonight ladies and gentlemen there's the drop to Sheeta Priestley headed to the top what a fully beautiful drop kick and the air right out of her lungs here, ladies and gentlemen. But there's a kick out by Sheeta. There's the elbow right between the eyes. Oh, with the running knee. Took her right off her feet. Holy shit. One, two, and the kick out by Priestley. Somehow she's still alive here in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. She's looking to get the Charleston crowd. Oh, and she got it! One. And the kick out by Priestley. The kick out by the ever so resilient number one contender. And great matches so far here on Dynamite. There, up and around the world of Priestley. Beautiful work. Pulling herself up on the apron. Oh, nice look. That was fantastic. I don't know what the hell it was, but it was quite fantastic. What a beautiful neck break. Two. A two and a half. What an ear fall by Sheet. Well, sweet dog. There's a stomp. 
what is this? Ida looking for the submission here. Oh, and she tops. Sheena tops. Sheena just tapped out here. Oh my God. Terrific match here tonight. Check out the, I don't think it's any, gonna get any better than what we just saw. Sheena picking up a win over the number wonder as what in the blue hell does that mean for the AEW Women's Championship match at Firefest? I think that is just a question. Here it out. The this commercial terrific match coming, so don't miss it here on Dynamite. Oh, oh this should be good. Right, we got Christopher Daniels making his in-ring debut here. One half of Private Party, Christopher Daniels seeming to mend fences with his F SCU members, Frankie Kazarian and Scorpio Sky. That with Daniels, he seemed to have that Kazarian back in the day. And a, and of course, more phenomenal matchup about two weeks ago. Where Scorpio Sky, a packed television champ, played Christopher Daniels, just recently coming off an X Division title run, and Frankie Kazarian, little victim to the Demon Lord Hacked Wrestling. SCU, what is up, Charlu? Thank you for tuning in. How are you? Of course, four-time X Division champ. Frankie Kazarian has won the X Division title a time or time and two. And of course, trying to get Kazarian and Sky on the AEW tag gold. I think a few more wins on their record will do. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. This is awesome. Of course, veteran of both. Of the entire Let's go to the ring. And here comes SCU, claiming this is the worst town they have ever... And this town's not bad, we've been to it. But the fallen angel Christopher... One thing that is missing from Daniels is a world title. That's it. Daniel set to be in action against one of the most, well, one half of the most, one of the most athletic tag teams in AEW. You never know what is going to come out of the arsenal of Mark Quinn or Isaiah Cast. Hybrids, I mean, definitely. Definitely under the guidance 
of a tag team specialist of his, Matt Hardy. I'm glad to see everybody is doing okay tonight on this lovely Thursday night of AEW action. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Anyway, let's get this matchup underway. Christopher Daniels wants to no body slam. Right, right there, there's a kick to the midsection. Trying to go off solid. Christopher Daniels, a shh. Again, given his size, definitely fell under the X Division category back in the day of TNA. Off the ropes, he go. Or going over the ropes, not sure. Daniels looking to fly. When his life flicks. Oh, straight to the heart. What an elbow. Drop to the outside. I think that may have broke his fucking Two. sternum. Oof. Three. Boy, him up. Beautiful shim breaker with authority on that one. Mark Quinn getting back up on his feet. Beautiful shim. Back up on his, there's a super kick. And Daniels with a nice neck breaker. Going for another forearm kick. Daniels tying up with Quinn. It's just that body drop. And there he goes with a rolling net snap. For the cover, Daniels. And that is how Mark Quinn down. Gonna go there. Daniels looking to fly. Looking to take off. Oh my God! Vintage Christopher Daniels right there. And here he goes. Wait a minute. Reverse the choke slam, putting the elbows right to the side of that cue ball head. Oh. Okay. Okay. Christopher Daniels set it him up. Dodge that one. Great work. Going up and around. Mm -hmm. Got him up. Or Quinn. Purse up there like a very tight eye. He got caught. God damn it, he got caught. And there's a step up in Sakari, knocking his ass right out. For the what is up? Destruction. How are you? What is up? Out of the way, great work there by Mark Quinn. Ooh. -ooh. Find him up. Chris Avery Daniels looking to put more. I'm gonna shatter South Carolina here tonight. Uh, this action's been absolutely phenomenal here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This is what AEW is all about. SCU on the outside, egging him on. Here goes Christopher Daniels with Solid Angel. That has got to be it for Mark Quinn. That's got to be it. The ref slapped the mat. Great side rushing that shit. Isaiah Cassidy literally watching Daniels climb this son of a bitch. Is that enough to put him away? Two and the near fall. The 
Christopher Daniels got him in the chin lock. Great work by the veteran. Oh! Of course, go ahead and vote for all these people that have commented. Vote for Little Psychopath on Twitter. You can just go to WEW Riot. Of course, a vote for Destruction as he is the current WEW National Tag Team Championship. Lauren Quinn. Oh! Sunset Flip coming out of Lauren Quinn. If you just tuned in, you missed the biggest upset of the night. There's the kick. Going up and over. Christopher Day executed in Berta DDT. Going to step out. Christopher Daniels with a springboard knee. Both of them just paid for that. Daniels going for the cover. Showing signs here, ladies and gentlemen. And the win by Christopher Daniels. Right up. I gotta give that a round of applause. Mm -hmm. We gotta give that a round of applause. What a performance by the former X Division champ. Picking up a win in his in- But anyway, coming up next, we are gonna hear the number one contender to John Moxley's AEW World Championship. That match is gonna be, <laughs> that's gonna be a brutal match. Definitely a lot of animosity between the two. And of course, Cody Rhodes defeating his own elite brethren, Kenny Omega, to earn this spot. In a terrific, terrific match. And of course, the mystery still remains who defaced the AEW World Championship at Double or Nothing. Our investor skaters are still trying to get to the bottom of that. We have no update on who it is or any of the investigation. So who knows if they're still working for us? Maybe it just doesn't matter anymore. I don't know. I just don't know. Of course, it was always a mystery that one GM leaves and another one starts. But in the middle, else defaced. I still want to blame Daniel Cole. Let's go to the ring. Oh, that at least he doesn't have the neck tattoo. It's always Cody. It really is. He's ready to pounce. He is ready to become the A. Of course, the man of home honor world champion, of course, former IWGP United States champion. Hell, at one point in time, he fought his brethren in New Japan, took on Hangman Adam Page in an Iron Man match at Impact uh, Turning Point. And just. And it came to a draw, so I don't know if we're ever going to get a rematch between Cody and Hangman Page. Of course, I want to thank everybody for tuning in here at AEW Dynamite. Much love from me and OEE to you here tonight. All of you are friends in my... for a rude away coach has his mind set to dethrone John Moxley at Fighter Fest a week from Sunday. Some strong words coming out of the number one contender. And that is what he, you call a mic drop. Anyway, coming up next, I can't wait for this match. This match is going to be awesome. 
We are going to see our AEW Women's Champion Awesome Kong going to be in action against a former foe that is the native beast Nyla Rose in an Extreme Rules match. Poof. And of course, there's a poll up and running who will win the Extreme Rules match tonight on AEW Dynamite. Will it be Karma? Or will it be Awesome Kong? Will it be Nyla Rose? Go ahead and vote. Yep. Mm. Mm. Awesome. Yes, go ahead and vote, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let that poll go to waste. Just let... Just go ahead and vote. This crowd is already electric here in Charleston. These motherfuckers sat down. Awesome Kong shocking us all at in the inaugural AEW match. Nyla definitely the shite in last. You go get him. Yes. Our childly in the ring. Look at how beautiful that AEW wins. What is up, Dark Prophet? Thank you for tuning. Unbelievable. Here comes the native beast. Recently doing an impact wrestling. Recently had a match against the Impact Women's Dead. Managed to pin Mickey James in a triple threat match. Earning herself a non-title match against Holiday. Holiday managing to pick up the win. Miss it last. Of course, you don't wrestling this with eight seven. This crowd definitely not on the side of Nyla Rose. Seems that awesome could walk away with a dub. These polls are not for my health. I can tell you that much. But anyway, Kong and Rose, the women on the roster. This is going to be brutal. Mighty. Trying to get the here on Nyla Rose. Again, Ben on the losing, losing side of the spectrum. Between he and Ben. Oh, what a spear by the Nated Beast! Oh, the cover and the instant kick out by the AEW Women's Champ. Of course, the Axe Man uh, rooting for Nyla. And there's the leg drop by Nyla Rose. Just looking at her prey like she's a buffalo on the field. I'm gonna raid in. Awesome Kong getting back on her feet. Oh, she just bitch slapped. Her. Extreme here tonight on Dynamite. We see no time whatsoever. There. Trying to back that up down there by Kong. Kong got a hold of the throw to Nyla Rose. Poised at her up. What strength by the AEW Women's Champ. What a slam. Oh, damn. So there by the native beast. Now she's got possession of the... A battle of attrition here right now. Beautiful sidewalk slam. Let's go ahead and get AJ Manuel and Jason Storm on WW Riot's Twitter page. Definitely give them a buzz. They deserve it. AJ just for injury. Oh, Awesome Kong in control of this match. 
Of course, WEW advertises us every Tuesday and Thursday. Oh my! Chair shot to the dome of Nyla Rose. We're gonna send this anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be match. Oh, there's a ring area. Good high, what a knee. There's another knee by Kong. Taking this right into the audience. What a match. These women looking to beat the unholy hell out of each other here. Nice uppercut. Like I said, taking this match everywhere. There's an uppercut coming out of Nyla Road. Wait a minute, with oh, she drives her right into the audience barricade, right in the crowd. Trying to create an opening, a little bit of freedom between Ellender and the AEW Women's Champion. Awesome Kong got her up. Oh, what a slam by Awesome Kong. Sweet Jesus. And there's a rolling... This is GCAEW Women's Champ. Now where the hell she go? Climbing right up onto the stage. This isn't gonna be good, ladies and gentlemen. Nyla Rose left sore. Ribs definitely shattered, ladies and gentlemen. Here goes all some calm we're gonna fly. Oh my god! This is a match. This is one of the matches I've been waiting for all night. As soon as I got the paperwork, I just bleh, just drew. Now, Lord knows where the hell Awesome Kong is. This action definitely needs to finish inside the ring. Nyla Rose looking to hoist her up. The strength is unbelievable. What a vertical suplex coming out of Nyla Rose. Slap. These women. Oof! Turn around there by Nyla Rose. Oof! Terrific tackle coming out of the champ. Gonna have the crowd observing the crowd. In the ring. Oh, I think so. Awesome Kong coming up with the table. A table, for God's sake. Here she goes. How did she toss her? Setting up the table right in the middle of the ring. Hopefully we're not looking at a fight. Oh, God. Here she goes. Got a hold of her. Here goes Awesome Oh my God. Fall away, slam through the announce table. Thank you, our, there's our GM, our ever so beautiful, awesome GM. Can't call him beautiful. Thank you. I'm enjoying it. Oh, there's an elbow to the top of the dome. Pretty good. Underneath the ring once again. This time, oh, awesome Kong coming up with yet again another. Here she goes, taking it right down to the canvas, driving a right hand right into of Nyla Rose. Oh God, this isn't gonna be good. Oh my God! How did she do it? Huge shoulder, right to the outside. Holly oh, Rose doesn't know where she is here tonight. Oof! Right under the hardest part of the ring. Awesome Kong setting up the table here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Second table of the match. Ooh! Managing to pull out off Nyla Rose with a mass 
Texas Suplex to the AEW Women's Champion. Wow. Beautiful ripples of... After that powerbomb. And she looks at her. Nice shift to the midsection. Oh gosh, she's gonna be cooking like a smoked sausage. Oh my god, no. Paying tribute to the land of itch. Good night. One, two, three. That is it. What a win for Awesome Kong. Thank you. <laughs> he heard now we're cooking. But what a win by the AEW. Absolutely impressive work. I mean, with the number one contendership in jeopardy as of tonight, who she's going to be facing, or if she's going to face both Sheeta or Priestley. Not what her. Come back. <laughs> when we come back, oof, from this commercial break, we got a Falls Count Anywhere match coming your way, Omega. And the Darby Allen. We will have more action right after this. Anyway, the Omega earlier in the broadcast. Take my mind. Um, Kenny Omega was defeated by his elite brethren, Cody. And of course, Cody, the current number one contender at W Championship. Kenny Omega trying to find a footing in one of these, one of the two tag singles tag divisions. Of course, Kenny Omega was inaugural AEW award against John Moxley. And a phenomenal mean he was at double or nothing. We're back here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, Alan better get this with. Everybody seems to be on the side of Darby Allen here tonight. Of course, Darby Allen just trying to find his footing as well. Of course, we're getting closer and closer to that main event. Can't wait for the final battle between MJF and Dustin Rhodes in a 30-minute Iron Man match. That is going to be a phenomenal match to close out the night here in South Carolina. Of course, are we going to see hints of the cleaner here tonight? Oh, and there's a kick. Pray for Darby. Wasting little to know. We're going to turn this around. Darby Allen probably about to go one on one. Or go toe to toe with the best bat in the industry. Darby Allen with a kick to the midsection. Darby Allen's A or impact being at the age of 23 with he def Morrison at against the lines. What a shot by Omega. There's a close line coming out of Young. Pre-match assault. What the hell is Darby do? Well, there goes Kenny. We're going to fly. There's a cross body by Kenny Omega. And he's going for the cover, but there's no referee in sight. Oh, there he is. Great kick out there by Young Darby Allen. Like I said, they're going to take the arena. There's a knee in the back of the head of young Darby. Mm -hmm. 
Wait a minute. I thought he missed. But there he goes again with another kick to the back of Darby Allen. I'm going to turn this around. There's the Dragon Suplex. That infamous Dragon Suplex and the referee miles away from the town. What an idiot. Why does the ref keep getting up there? They're being a fucking lose face. Oh, they're already looking to take this backstage here, ladies and Well, I think we're going to be calling this, well, from wherever the hell I'm at. Are we just laying hits? How is everybody tonight? Since I got a breather here, how is everybody doing? Oh, I was wrong. Already backstage here. Oh! Nice reversal. Trying to turn this around. Gives slap to the back of the head. Step it up. Beautiful Hurricane Rock. Kenny Omega with a very, very nice black. Oh my lord. Oh. With the rat. Oof. Kenny Omega hoisting him up. Oh, what a set out power bomb that could shatter any normal human being's spine. Only the cover on Darby Allen, but his pain tolerance is just unbelievable. Nice, we are, I am having shrimp, uh, meatballs, french fries, you name it. It is going to be delicious, and I'm going to have a spot of rum later. Yes, I will, because why? I deserve it. Oh, and Darby eating the cases. And Omega with a huge DDT busting up in the son of a bitch. This may be it, though. He's going for the cover. And Darby Allen with a kick out. Match is already here tonight. Of course, this entire show has just been awesome. Ooh, we look for it. Penny Omega. Kid slapped him. Woo! What a chop by Kenny Omega. Where does he go? Oh, he's got another chair. Darby Allen's totally getting to his feet, wearing the crimson mask already early in this match. Ooh, and Darby was well aware of that coming towards his face. <laughs> and he spikes him right into the brick wall. Kenny Omega going for the cover. That'll rattle. Gillotin, and there's the kick out by Darby L. Is that John Cena? Don't tell me that's John Cena. Oh, my God. Darby Allen is currently lifeless. And Omega walking his way to the towards the parking garage. There's go security. Did he just grab? Oh, and Darby caught it. Driving is a Kenny Omega. Gonna step up. Great work there. Just Darby Allen. Oh, he does it again. There's John Cena making an appearance in AEW. Run away. We can't see John Cena here. Exactly. I can't see him either. Oh, Darby Allen preventing himself from going through the table. Oof. Terrific work. Body slams it. His match going all over the guy. They're almost in the parking garage. Uh. Where you go? 
Back him on his feet. Misses the knee. There's a kick by Darby Allen. Oh, what a sunset slant. One. And a kick out by him. Oh, he's lining him up. Darby Allen has nothing to climb. Looking for that coffin drop. So looking for his signature stunner. Does he have it? Wait, Kenny Omega with a reversal. Turning it around into a vertical suplex. Such a terrific Falls Count Anywhere match here on Dynamite. Huh. Wow. But this table's for catering, it isn't anymore. Dorby Allen about to go for a ride. Oh my God! Kenny Omega definitely showcasing reminiscence of the cleaner. As Kenny Omega walking towards the semi. Now, why does he have a case? Oh, here he goes. Oh, shoving it right into the knees of Darby L. That was devastating, to be honest. Oh, God. What is he doing? Tossing Darby Allen right under the hood of this limousine. Wait, that's my car. What the hell are you doing? That's my car! Oh my god! Right through the windshield of the limousine! Sweet Jesus in heaven! Oh, and there he got it! That's not a gimmick chair! That's not a normal chair! What the hell? Get up, Ken, and fight back. Kenny Omega hoisted him up. Chico Roshi. That might be it for Darby Allen. One, two, and the kick out. What? Well, now I'm going to need a whole new limousine. I don't know. I don't know. Kenny Omega. Climbing into the top of their semi-trailer. Darby Allen somehow managing to get back to his feet. Oh, slowly climbing to the top here, ladies. It is Omega and Allen on top of the trailer. Oh, there's the punch. Great uppercut. <laughs> Allen responds back with a huge, huge... Holy mother of God! He just lost it for the top of the semi! Kenny Omega just went for a ride! I don't know how Omega's back up, though. Uh, definitely a fine-tuned athlete. Kenny Omega looking to fly! Oh my God! was about 24 feet. One, two, and Darby Allen managing to kick out of that one. Great drop kick to the base. Yeah, that was it. That's definitely it. Oh my God. He just collided with the con. Can barely move. Oh. Darby Allen wearing the crimson mask, managing to get back. Beautiful uppercut there by Darby. Darby Allen looking to return the receipt when he drives it. That shit just went in the floor. Good. Look at him. 
Oh, what a drop kick from the top of my limousine. Shut. Fucking Harris. Darby Allen is at lifeless. No. Look at her oh, oh, sweet Jesus, that'll rattle your skull for a bit. Holy crap is right. This match is just absolutely unbelievable. Glad they're not going... But... Kinda glad they're not... Oh, they are. I think Kenny Omega's looking to eat. Maybe some shrimp, some meatball. Somebody just ran. Oh, look, there's catering, ladies and gentlemen. Grab something to eat while you can. Ooh, and Darby Allen grabs a hold of the fire extinguisher. Huh. Going up. Poison Rana to the floor. Well, there we go again. No bread, no water. Just meat. I didn't know Darby Allen was on fire. Nice reversal there, right there. Great work there by Darby. Oh, two. If I were you. Huh. Catering here. Surprised we haven't seen the COO yet. And hence we are backstage. Oh, EO for that matter. Got a hold. What the hell is Kenny do? <laughs> okay, let's just throw. Please don't damage the tables here in case. Here goes Darby. Go in, shit, of the ketchup and muscle. Ooh, and he missed. What a... Why do you have the fire extinguisher? Yeah. Is he throwing that? He just threw the water kit. What was that? No need to throw... No need. Those tables have families. That was funny. Yeah. Oh, eat the knee. <laughs> that was funny. The families. Up. Ooh. I went up again. Oh, what a DDT to Darby. Penny for the cover, waiting. One, two, two. Oh, it got me. It's out. How the? Need to start paying attention to where the hell he's walking. Kenny. Wow. That impact could have been heard all around the arena. Get the sewing machine and throw it at him. That would upset me. Now they're in the women's lock. Gibbs slapped. I think Kenny Omega's looking to air. Oh, what a pile drive. Hey, fuck. Kenny Omega walking without a scratch on him. Darby fiercely in the women's locker room. Kenny Omega right at the door. We're going to take this back to the arena. I think they tore up back, you think. Here we go. Oh, there's the knee. Great camera angle, by the way. Looks like that the Dark Prophet redeemed Hydrate. 
Oh, getting him right out of the way. And he'll make saying hello to the fans more or the less. It's the first time they've been in the ring area. Oh, oh what a neck breaker by Darby Allen. Ryan, no dice there. Sending him right into the ring. Kenny Omega, look. Or whatever that was. Managed to get. Barbie descending right up. Ooh, and he missed. It goes beautiful job with the sunset. Darby with the cover. One. And there you go. Kenny tossing Darby to the outside. Like he's towing the house. This crowd here, ladies and gentlemen. Christ. Get this action right back. Landed right in the audiences in South Carolina. Oh, managing the muster up the strike to pick up Kenny Omega. There's a. Ooh. This has been a back and forth battle since the opening bet. Trying to finally take this. Put the man out of his misery here. Kenny Omega, the chair position. Here goes Kenny Omega with a... One, still alive. Ha! Omega with a... Darby with the... Oh! Oh, God! I think this kid, I think Darby's gonna need a trip to the hospital. Mega. Lining this up one more time. Or one more time. We'll turn this around. One, he got him. <laughs> this reality at its gotta say so far what what a win for <laughs> Torby Allen it should have been me Anyway, coming up next. Hmm. That should have been the main event. Oh, we're about to hear from the AEW World Champion. Right? Anyway. Apparently, this rivalry is getting so heated that they can't even be in the same room. Left the building, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oxley defeating Kenny Omega at double win a well at the moment black black strap again we don't know who defaced so let's go to oh look for him to get in the ring I love these super so ring ready Oxley Oh my what well I'm not in the mood to play around either, so please get to we can get back to the action. Or so I shouldn't be a dick to our AEW world champ. This is all definitely has to be talking about people being stepped over.
Cody Rhodes were on the same team. And Moxley did little to nothing. Much that just Cody. Okay. I know. Okay, and we will get the bottom of the situation. Well, you're oh, wherever the hell you go, even percent. Hitting our 100 minute mark. Thank you, everybody. When we come back from this commercial break, we got some solid. Mm. Anyway, we got some tag action coming your way. The number one contenders for the AEW tag team titles. The Jurassic Express going to be taking on the Dark Order. The Dark Order. Billy Gunn. No one knows what the hell happened. Anyway, and the Dark Order when Brody Lee was in. Tag at double or. Right here on Tory. This is winning ways. Well. Oh boy, Jack coming out all by himself. Possibly playing my. Has been. What is. Shane, are you with us? Good Shane. Yo, morning. Hey, what is up? <laughs> oh man, the sky. Whenever he comes out, and giving you a round of applause for actually showing up. I know. Thank you for two, sure. two matches. Late arrival. I. Just, Who do yeah. you are you? I'm Shane Blitzkrieg, bro. Hang on one second. I bring the time, the thunder from hell, and I'll pull you on. That's the song that's playing, but here comes Luchasaurus. Yeah, Luther and Corbin music. I mean, it fits his persona, don't you think? I mean, prehistoric. <laughs> You're the voice of the demon town. Uh, indie talent. How about that one? But here comes evil. Oh, sure. I was told to slap you. I'm, try I'm trying not. Ow! Bitch! Uh, no, he's in the group chat. And here's Evil Uno. Did, has anybody ever figured out what the hell's wrong with this guy? Um, he's big. He was scary. I don't know what what what, what was in the group chat. He's not scary. He looks retarded. And here comes Stu. Of course, what is it going to take for the Dark Order to get back on the winning side of the spectrum here, Shane? Uh, winning. What sort of game plan? Not just one-worded answers. Oh, I think. It's the most simplistic, smart-ass way for is that they need to start working like a team here. If someone out, they need to tag each other in. They need to start, you know, kiss and making sure that they stay strong throughout the match. You know, taking I mean, their bumps and shit is not going to help them get through these matches. It's, you know, it's how you get out. I don't I mean, know, coming out, as a should come out as a team. In the dark order, as of late. I mean, Jungle Boy stuff. Of course, Giraffe beat it, if you can believe that. I know. Of course, 5-0, looking to become 6-0, and possibly a week from Sunday. Oof! 
clean titles at the expense of Proud and Power. Hey, man. I mean, they keep that momentum going. Oh, I definitely have it in their favor they get this shit done. They could finally get their hands on that tag team goal. Oh. Was Evil Uno dragging the limp corpse of the uh, Jungle Boy Jack Perry? And here comes Stu Grayson. Of course, these two have met, uh, both Stu Gray and uh, Jack have met in singles competition before. They know each other like they know. Oh, wait a minute. Bruno in the ring. Oh, shit, but this man needs to go. Oh. Ring. <laughs> he needs to get that TV. What did the TV come Tom Jungle Boy right into the corner. There's the tag to the ring. Dumb fuck. Oh, an elbow right I could worse could give the elbow right to the dick. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be us. Into the corner goes Evil Uno. Oh, gee, Jungle Boy, guess who missed? An incredible falls down that's here tonight, Shane. Good God, it was brutal. Yeah, yeah I do apologize for the traffic had me a little bit. I'm glad I finally got here. It is Stretching out the door ridiculous. when I came in. There's a tag team work. Who just so in. Here they go. Hit toss with a couple of kicks. Coming out of Jurassic Express, Luchasaurus going to the cover, and there's a the kick out by Eva Luna. A little. Will you shut your gob? Shit. Oof. Great job. Wait a minute. Oh. Look at stunner, dude. Open 65 billion years, did it! So speaking of 65 million years and a, uh, a medieval history degree. Yeah. Long way. You know, back about his feet, grabbing the mane of the jungle boy. And he's terrific. That is a terrific head of hair. Why don't you go to haircut? No, he does not. I just like kick by. Second of two tag matches here tonight. Oh, into the court. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, heck, taking the pick. Okay, I'm here. Comes Stewie. Put your ass. Nice knee by Stu Grayson. I got that second wave. Out of the way, there's a neck breaker. A tag team match here, Shane. Spaced action. I mean, this seems like a good match for me to shot. And it's good, man. Worked by Luch, believable, or Jurassic Express, sorry. Oh, wait a minute. Luchasaurus eating right, coming out of Stu Grayson. The kick, good job, short shit. This is by a whole country mile, or a Jurassic. Luchasaurus, oh, fat ass up on the apron. For the cover by Jurassic and there's the... Oh, and he missed the clothesline. Nice kick. Got him up. Settling it. There's a tombstone. There's a tombstone by the Dyna for the cover. This has got to be it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, 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 oh. That <laughs> demon talking shit. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. Anyway, I mean, on the action. I can answer it. That's how I'm oh. ready, man. Yo, uh, to the, uh... I'm fine. Uh, Apparently you didn't hit him hard enough. Yeah, but that's just one stepping stone. Does it mean he's gonna knock you down? I'm making... Drop. What? What a suplex. Dry, dry humor. In the walk I went on earlier. Hasn't been dry back at home, man, lately. It's been raining constantly lately. I haven't seen what the sun the in a week. Trying to go for the kick. Wait a minute. Luchas How tall is Luchasaurus? Hold on. 
Ooh, and Evil Uno trying to go for the shot block. To answer your question, he was six foot five inches tall. Good God. He's climbing to the top, though. All hell Google. Yeah, six foot five, and oh my God. Oh! He took on them both. Of course, Evil Uno's always in the way of everything. Sorry, is he in AEW? You saw that, right? I mean, just. Hey, hey, hey. Oh boy. Here goes Evil Uno. Oh! Oh my god! Sick! Tell me. I didn't know that big man could move like that. Apparently he right can. The it turns us around, damn suplex. Okay. Go stop. Jungle Boy headed to the top. He loves the fly. Holy shit! Over the dark. What a finish! Fuck like the finish, what a match! The <laughs> littest of shit, man. This is amazing, it's a great match. Of course, it's... We can see this teamwork between Express and Fighter Fest. They could become the... <laughs> they could become the second ever AEW Tag Team Champion. And first time champ. Luke Perry would definitely be managing to be very successful up next, Shane. The final battle, the MJF in Rhodes in a 30 match. Yo, I'm, I'm counting on, I'm. Anyway, these two have had a heel. They're both one and one. And Dustin Rhodes picking up the win. Um, it's kind of fun. Wolfgang was the one who said, what is it? Haas is a, I can't remember the word used. I mean, it was 1.2 seconds away from calling shit. So I don't know. Shane, let's get your thoughts on this match, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. Hot head. <laughs> Are your balls gonna drop? Cunt if you want to. What? I mean, Hoss is a good dude. He's very well together, just like me and you, Shane. Just gonna work very well together in this main event. This is gonna be a huge match. This is pay-per-view quality. Ye mother. Ow. A few too many. Here comes Maxwell Jacob Friedman with a. I mean, in my opinion, shot at. I think it should be a shot at the TNT Championship. I mean, quite honestly, gets the win over somebody as 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 a legend as Dustin Rhodes is in this business. He's still an asshole though. So I hope Dustin go ahead and is at, like the Indies, man. MLW. Who's in the blow-off 30-minute Iron Man match with the BNJF or Dustin Rhodes? Go ahead and vote on the Two people have already voted Dustin. Mm -hmm. I would love to. Yeah, yeah. I've been sitting here for some change. Good. <laughs> of course, Hoss would be literally creaming his pants. All that. Here we go. Getting a pure Iron Man match, and of course, Dustin does have a history of Iron Man matches in his career. Going up against them. This is the match I'm waiting for. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. Or 
can't believe it. Off of the ropes goes MJ. Nice reversal in the four. Through the whole kitchen sink. Right at Dustin Rhodes. I don't know what that was. He just kicked air. I flew feed early. And a great kick out by MJ. Oh, I thought he was going to poke him right in the retinas. Shane, you still... I mean, I mean, are you calling MJF a sight? No, I'm calling Dustin Rhodes a sight. Dustin Rhodes is... Oh, MJF is an asshole. Oh, yeah. Of course, the Polk. Dustin Rhodes taking the dub. I would very much love to see that. See, if no one's oh. Like that. Yeah, they know true pro wrestling. The cover by MJF, though. By Dustin Rhodes. Gonna need a drink. Oh, he's just gonna carry. Very God. bright, is he? Oh my God! He just rattled and chomped them on the apron. Just swung it. Holy shit! That hurt my body. Um. Uh. He may have. I think he just broke his trick. He goes. JF throwing the whole kitchen sustain, going for the cover. Between the eyes. Oof. Well, Jacob Reed. Never seen that side of Dustin. That's I shot. Thank you for the main event here. Should feel like. A grueling battle of the f Yeah. I'm gonna scrape Try on right across the face of Dustin. Pulling him up! This may be it for Dustin! The first fall in this Iron Man match! Falling into the corner. Survival of the fittest here. Oh, there's a close one. Yeah, the prick of a... Went over the ropes here, Shane. What's he got planned? I have no idea. He's just dick. Like he's hanging on a le the ledge of the tight. Stop it. MJF with a beat. Felt the salt of the earth. Ooh. Oh! Go to a salt somewhere, you might get scared with salt. <laughs> MJF lost a simple. Yeah. Always go for that arm, but. And Rose. Eyes so. He can almost taste. Pulling him right out. Single drop kick. Good job, Num Num. No pain. Tribute to the American drink of the Bionic. In there, terrific. Ooh! Oh, what a monstrous close! Dustin with elbow here, Shane. Jake rattling. Rolling in. Rolling in what? Rolling in. <laughs> oh, Dustin Rose lining him up. Looking for the. Oh, no, God. They have going back right over the ropes. What the fuck is he doing? Um. Going for it here. Is he in place? Yes. Oh my God. He eats it. MJF, you get the first slow. He do it. There's. Duh. Sweet uh, baby juice. Fresh, fresh. A bunch of underscores. Is He's looking for it. Handle. Driving him. MJF looking to get the first. And match. You should see my explosion on my face. I'm all. Oh, this is just a terrific match. Nobody has scored a full minutes in to this 30 minute Iron Man match. Like, oh. Looking for it. He can't. 
How? I don't know. I thought you knew how. I thought I did. Yes, we are, Riffle and, Kid. Yeah, and I started thinking about it. Hmm. Wait a minute, I have no good. Go ahead, Riffle Kid 22. That's awesome. For the kick, nice job there by Dustin. Neither man has 11 minutes. Drop kick by MJF. Uh-huh. Here he goes. Into the canvas. MJF. Fall. And he got it. Good job. Yeah, I think he responds with aggression. And then they suck him with aggression. Responding with a buy-up. Pulling MJF. Away. Definitely telling the spike. Two. Count by Maxwell. What? Connect. I know this. And what? What a heel test. Straight over the road. What is Dustin? Oh, okay. Fucking offense. Right. Mm. Two. Two and a half for Dustin Rhodes. Here on the roads. Shady's just bit the natural. Is he trying to Mike Tyson this or something? No, he's not going for the ear. That's not a big. Okay. And MJF is a cannibal. But definitely in Miami, Florida. Oh, sweet God. MJF possibly lining up, looking for the second fall of setting it up. Play in the middle of the ring to get the second fall to end the kick out. A match. Could it get it? You know, honestly, with these two and how this match is going, it could get better. It could. Not sure. But you know what? He we talk to beat. Beautiful job. Entering the crimson mask. You're in the matchup, man. What showing the sun. I mean, he's kind of in his face, man. Dustin looking for the single leg. Goes to the Oh definitely with as much uh fatigue MJF has right now. Oh. What? Are you joking? He wasn't even close to the ropes. Dustin's getting screwed here, Shane. MJF is ripped. Proclaim. Maybe he's paid off of the rep. And I think our COO needs to uh, look into this a little bit. We're having some very corrupt refs as of late. Oh, what a vertical suplex set up. There's another set. This time mounting Dustin with a barrage of right hands. And we got 14 minutes left. Oh, and Dustin looking at respond. Beautiful elbow. Great fireman's carry takedown. Oh. The chain. Somehow that amateur connected. Uh, connected by uh, physical contact. And so Dustin Rose look, looking to go for the cover after that move and the kick out by MJF. MJF mounting it more here in this match. Just pure attrition here in this match. Are so good. Dustin, go. I was surprised into MJF. It is. Nah. I'm talking about. Starting to think it's. Yes. Connected. Again. Just trying to. Ult on the head at Dustin Rhodes. What up? This is the test of time, an Iron Man match. Dustin using the ropes. 
And to execute his attack, that's a smart move there by Dustin Roche. In for the cover. Trying to put away the natural for the second fall. And there's the kick out by Dustin. Bitch slapped him. If I'm not mistaken, Shot. currently it's uh, one fall for MJF and nine for one out. Yep. All right. Cool. Somebody asking? Oh, okay. Yes, it's one zero MJF. All right, man. Yeah, Dustin's making this one really, really quick, man. What up? Amir Harris. Harris is taking in the sights. Oh, he's up. Oh, and not one to fly, but that one got off. After this, for that arm bar. Trying to tap him out of your shade. He got him to tap. That's two. He at. And we were over 11 minutes on the clock. Going for no. another pin. Two, two. Okay. Street. He's going, probably. I'm He's probably. Possibly. On Twitch, on Mixer, I did. Um. Uh uh. But look at this MJF. Springboard cut. Shades of his NLW days. Going for the cover here on Dustin. He's doing a stream. Of uh, G. I think it was a shit like that. We shut it off. Uh, oh, it well. only lasts about well four hours. He's slinging MJF off into the corner. Oh, what is he doing? MJF set up in the corner. Revisiting the days of this nuts. One. Two. Hot kick out. I don't know how he did it. That, that man's got to be in pain. Absolutely, the man just got fucked. You know, he got like dick. Here he goes. Terrific neck break. The may have going for the cover. Walk after he just got a bunch of coconuts right into his throat. Oh. With, with under nine minutes, two falls to zero. Two. And the kick out. How? How is he have a pinfall yet, or submit tap in the box. As much as I hate the kid, he is resilient. He is pretty damn good. That's all I do. I do credit his beat. Dustin was answer to everything thrown at him so far in this sequence. Elbow. They're taking the right hand, Rush whipping him off into the opposite direction. Across the way. Oh, again, when I keys for the week, Charlie 94, 96, they three day everything. So, they get a big duck. They definitely so, do. Congratulations. Oh. Also, if he is tuned in right now. Yeah. They're awesome, man. Such they huge jumps. Rose lining up. Friedman. Around. Great job there with such. Be it for Dustin for the cover. One, two, two. And JF pulling off the sting. Oh, and he almost got his. I mean, if him found this much, I think there's no hope for that. Tripping and JF off into the corner. All right. Setting up. Oh, here he goes. Right into his throat. That's Yo. it. That is it! A serious question. There, there's disqualifications in this. That doesn't matter. Isn't that kind of a low. I'm not sure. Right maybe, maybe, the maybe, using, maybe using your. Oh, no, she's going to. We did it I don't know, man. Dustin's looking at pain. Uh, something drastic. Oh! What a power ball. Beautiful work by Ed. And the pass. Minutes left. 
Batman match. Yeah, Duck, he needs to get his fall if he wants any shot of it. Kick him. I mean, he could get it by count out. MJF stirring on the outside. Oh, he's up. He's up. Dustin yeah, on the be honest, you know, Dust did not want to go fall kind of for low Hey, you know. This Iron Man match. Oh, here we go. And again. Again here, Shane. Oh. Uh, have it. Woo! Good God. I mean, that was that was mighty close. I, I... This. Oh, and a pile driver by MJF. We well, definitely want to make sure that it's not running away from that. You know, the head's broken. Things happen his here. Third. There's the third fall. MJF looking to trigger this fourth. Oh, not like that. What is it? In the, oh, I, I would have been dead. Would have been so bad. Oh. Back up. Well, there's a snap there. Kick right to the back. That's the shame. Yeah, maybe uh, get into him a little bit. No. Not at no. all. We are approaching the 150 mark. Wow. 100 feet. Yeah. Oh, clutch. Oh, is it didn't hear early. Trying to get that fourth. In one. Very decorative. Ooh. The battle of endurance. I'm wearing that crimson. Well, if now he just did. Ooh, ooh. Battle of endurance kick out by the net. Two and on the show. Pass to me. Oh, get that fall in. There's the there's the body kick out by MJF. Wow. Surprise MJF is another one. Going for another body on a that's it. That is it. Seconds left. He's trying to get it one. And the oh. oh man. Questioning my oh. sanity. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Dust it. Oh, and there's a pulling book. And MJF wins the match. Three. One. A goal tonight, ladies. This a story. This is what AEW. Give it a round of applause. Thank you, I mean, everybody. Wow. Pretty fucking elite tonight, from what I've seen. Hell of a final two matches, man. And definitely so. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to AEW Dynamite here tonight. I hope you enjoyed the show. I did. Folks, head over to Twitter. Follow us at Order Entertain One. We would love to hear from you. Definitely give us a like there. And, of course, you can go to Facebook. Give us a like as well. And of course, a follow. Or so do us. And you can catch all the video on demand that you may have missed. Hell, even shit from last year when we had ECW. Shane, do you have any final thoughts before we sign out for the night? Uh, well, man. This is some good shit. This is the good shit. This is the really good shit. As Vince McMahon would say, it's such good shit. All right, I'm good. Thank you. All right, well, I have been the voice of Order Entertainment Enterprise, Tommy Black, and we will see you all tomorrow for Order Revolution Wrestling here on Twitch. Good night, everybody. And oh, my God.